Um, regardless, right now we have um, Krusty has Tim's and Extra O going. Um, uh, Piranha Plant and Lucina, respectively. Such good doubles characters. And yeah, but don't sleep on these doubles characters. Inkling and Lucina. Mm -hmm. In Inkling, we don't see a lot of Inkling in the city. Not past day one, the first few months. They kind of all just subsided and yep. went to like different characters. So it's cool, Blackbird, to stick with the character. Mm -hmm. And we got Mojo's Lucina, primarily known for his DK play. Yep. And known, and for, his cloud known well. for going off. Yeah. So there's a really brilliant edge guard on his part. And that's going to be like so important in this kind of a matchup where both of these characters are like have dominating stage presence. When they're off stage, this is the most exploitable moment. What beautiful throw into an up smash. Really, really great stuff um, on their part. And you just see Krusty Astem's trying to cover the goal. But he has to be a little bit more mindful of the fact that Mr. Mojo guys and his teammate uh, is going to be there to help his teammate get back onto stage. Yeah. Oh, Mojo kind of killing his teammate there. Mm. But that just means he's taking names and he's not afraid. Oh, look. One off. He took all three of those stocks. Everybody who lost their stock today has lost it to Mr. Mojo yep. <laughs> rising. <laughs> he's going to be the stock ticket this match. He's going to have, like, nine confirmed kills. Yeah, he's going to he, kill his teammate three times. We, we may call him Stock Taker 70 right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now, Extra O is doing a great job of trying to um, keep, I believe it's Blackbird going, uh, Inkling, trying yeah. to keep Blackbird off of stage two, and that is going to be the goal, Luke. Oh, got the little jab in there for the Extra Jab percent. F smash. Like, he knows it wasn't going to bring them out the very... So that's how you know this is like somewhat of experience. Oh my god. So you, a little. You have to be like always attentive, especially when you have like such a heavy hitter on the opponent's team. Like you always just have to be mindful through the really subtle audio cues of like what they're doing. Yeah, but that doesn't even make noise, man. Mm -hmm. So no, not everybody has like a plan to play with. So the character isn't as bad as what people make it out to be. Mm -hmm. It's definitely little gimmicks here and there that if you're just not mindful of, you will get put on blast. Yeah. Like, a Piranha Plant's just ability to rack up so much damage so quickly is absolutely menacing. And you have to re really respect Spike Ball so much. You can't try to anti-air it. That thing will fall right back onto you. Um, it's such an amazing stall off stage, And I really love Krusty Aston's usage of it in the set so far. Because look at that. He parried it, and he was still unable to find the punish. He countered the Spike Ball and then ended up hitting his own teammate. Yeah. It kind of sucks. And I know Mo Mojo is doing a fantastic job of not only like taking the stocks in the set, but just being the stock tank yeah. for um, for Blackbird. Because like once Blackbird loses his stock, he's at 140 percent. Mojo is just gonna be ready to help him out. Yeah, I didn't even notice um, Blackbird's stock count. That's mm -hmm. great awareness right there. Oh, down smash! Really good down smash to cover the cross up on shield yeah. because Piranha Plant doesn't have the best out of shield options, but. When you're an inkling, stuck in a goalie. Yeah, and it just seemed like Blackbird's job was just to rack a percent and ink, because if your opponent does get more knockback too, when they get the hit, when they have more ink. <gasps> oh. And that's it. Yeah, that's so tough. When Piranha Plan, you have like such a committal recovery that you don't have much control out of. It doesn't have a massive hitbox in front of it. Like once you've committed to it, you've committed to it, you're so susceptible to things like that. Yeah, but... It, it kind of comes when you play plant, man. Yep. Yeah. You gotta hold it. Yeah. That's that's how it goes. It was a free DLC character. You didn't pay for that guy. <laughs> yep. And so going into game two, I'm thinking Extra O was really like trying to edge guard a lot. He was like going off a lot, and then as a result, I feel like they were able to reassert stage control really easily with um, either Mojo or Blackbird. Just kind of like being, oh, you're on the ledge? Okay, I'm going to corner pressure you for free, and my teammate's going to get back. Extra was the... Lucina yes. Before. Okay. But right now, Extra actually opting through the Palutena. Yeah. And he has both of them in his nail loops. This is exactly the situation he wants. Both of them are off stage on the same side. The spike ball hitting yeah. both of them. This is so good for them. Oh, Yo, my this God. This looks so crazy. So different. That was the most absolutely generic thing I've ever seen. And one thing, um, Blackbird has to be so careful about those multi-jabs. Yes, it's an amazing tool for your teammate to convert off of, but since it's so committal, like you just saw Extra was like, oh, wait, my teammate's getting hit. I'm going to run in and punish you even harder. Yeah. Oh, into the up smash. And these, they should have went this in the start. 
Because yeah. this, this setup seems a lot easier. They look like they didn't really have anything with the Lucina. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right now doing so much more work with the Palutena, only sitting at 50%. And, and he got, gone. He got yeah. the stage, stage spike with the uh, plant up beat. Yeah. And this is looking really bad for Mojo and Blackbird. Okay. Really great landing from Extra O choosing to opt for the dash attack, but caught in so much lag, just letting the Inkling do what Inkling does best. And that's, I think that was an F smash. Yeah, that was an F smash. And Mojo and Blackbird just need to find like their pacing. Or like the gathering. This is looking like a game to guaranteed right now. Mm -hmm. So at this point in time, I feel like they just need to like figure out what's working, what type of stages they want to go to. Yeah. And then after that, like yeah. how like some sort of game plan, like who gets who in the corner. Yeah. And just team combo them. They definitely need to like focus one of them because at this point it just seems like um extra is just able to throughout line, really just like tank the damage really well and then and then just go in with uh with Kwesi Astems being like a really menacing backline, you know, with Spike Ball. Ah, tried to F smash him. I believe he might have armor on the throw there. Okay. Look at that. How are you supposed to get off of ledge against this? This is terrifying. Trying to ha ah, actually oh, has to be. This is what fear looks like, Ram Guard. What am I okay? And right now, actually oh is struggling to find landing. Beautiful double teleport cancel. Okay. I see you. It's over. <laughs> yeah. He's sitting at 47%. They still have one more stock. Is it going to be so difficult for him to come back onto stage? Oh, ready for the shield. You always have to be attentive of the fact that Lucina has a hitbox on the way up. Yeah, and it's invincible during the first three frames to start up. So. I love that mix-up, by the way, that uh, Mojo did, where he hit um, Extra O a couple of times at the side beam. was like, oh, wait, no, his teammate is going to go ahead and whiff punish me. So he just, like, ran up to him and did a neutral A. So that was really brilliant to win this. Yeah. Really good awareness. Early air dodge for Mojo. Okay. I don't know what I just saw. Extra old giving up stops. I, I, I meant the side B. Yeah, yeah put, put, up, put up the mic. Put up the mic. You meant the side B? No, you didn't. <laughs> he definitely was trying to, like, do I'll something funky. On. You guys can commentate on their own comments. Good. Okay. And now, Mojo. I hate the fact that this is doable. Okay. Yeah. One, one death structure. I wasn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why wasn't he? Even... He was shaking in his boots. <laughs> I love these player mics. This is so good. Yo. Devin, thank you so much for installing these. No problem. Don't. If you keep it on when I'm there, I'm going to talk so much trash. So, I never want to see that up B off stage again. I do. You do? Yeah. When it, if he plays me, I'll be all straight. Ooh. All the time. It been triplets. I don't. Hmm. Man. So. Triplets. But is Lilat still not a triplet? Lilat. It's I mean, three platforms. I mean, it's not really. I feel is like. It, is it not? What define triplets? That's a fantastic question. Oh, um, I guess. I thought so. But but the platforms are tilted, so they have to be flat. They have to no. be flat platforms. Yeah. No one said That's what's going to define a trap no. But going into game three, how do you think Mojo and Blackbird can come back from this? Uh, they, so they just ran it back to the same stage. Uh, I don't agree with that, but Power I feel like they need to. So I feel like more. they need to corner Palu more. Yeah. They got more into Palu loops. And that's what was like more devastating for them. And when they were able to just corner off, just corner each one of the players off, that's when they got yeah. most, most of their mileage. And right off the bat, like you can see that this game is so different from the last one. Um, instead of it just being like a dominated two person off stage, like, you know, stage control lead, we're just passing each other back and forth, extra O taking so much damage so early into the game. Yeah. That's going to be the up here, up here, coming from Blackbird. And see, extra already gone in percent. And one person just cor cornered off. Yes, the hitbox is extended when he's out. When yeah. he is out. That is so terrifying. And right now, like, they need to find a way to rack up some kind of damage really quickly. Yeah. 
Okay. Really great back here. And this is going to be the edge guard, but he is going to get hit with the upbeat. Yeah, extra old being there, but unfortunately, um, Krusty, Krusty wasn't able to do and put his dash up to like before the punish. Yeah. Oh. This is not looking good. Both of them are ledge trapping right now. Oh my god. I like I like the ledge from Bear. Mm -hmm. Nice stuff. And get the tail block. Wow, they just connected spike ball into back here. That was like great positioning and awareness from XO because it effectively covered the other teammates' jump while just like being there to punish it. So um, lovely conversions there. Alright, F2. First ball. Right now, you see, ooh, beautiful S smash, just like calling out the hastiness from Mojo to air dodge in. Yeah. Oh, oh, what the hell did I just dude. witness? You, you just witnessed. He locked some him into team shield stuff. That's that's called teamwork. That's called stupid. Nah. He was locked into shield stun. He got a shield broken. This is this is what you have friends for. Your friends don't shield break with you. Your friends are supposed to help you out of shield breaks. You're not no, supposed no, to help no. you shield break somebody else. That's nah. unethical. Uh, me, me, and my friends are trying to take over the world. I don't know what you guys are doing. Oh my goodness! And then just Krusty uh, yeah. Aston jumping into the fully charged neutral B. Both of them down to their last stock. Granted, the deficit isn't so high, but beautiful spike ball from Krusty uh, Aston. They really like it. Not enough to take the stock quite yet. He had the lead that Mojo was going to go back onto stage oh aggressively. My. Mojo just did his combo while avoiding extra O. He's like, "Yo, you're in the way. Let me stun even more and avoid." Up smashing his own teammate. Krusty has to be really, really careful with the moves he's throwing out right now. <gasps> oh, Beautiful down beat. So good. He just like followed his drift brilliantly. He was just like one little drift ahead. And right now they're both down to the last dog. 80, 97, 66%. Not so bad for a midweight and a heavyweight at all. Yeah, this is still doable. One like major combo. If they like managed to get defensive play and get like a few reads on their side, they can definitely do it. Yeah, absolutely. And I like Blackbird still trying to apply pressure. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got extra ult to like break the side and come to them. Really, you know, I really like the uh, recovery from Cross Gaps to go for a full hop air dodge. It is like a little bit committal, but like at that point, like you just don't want to risk anything else from this, you know. Brilliant oh. spot dodge. That's the back of back heel, but he should have waited a little bit to see what Mojo was going to do. He should have opted to maybe pummel and then react and yeah. use his grab on it because I do believe he does get a little bit. Um, that's gonna be the back heel. Oh, unable to connect it. the side beam. And 80, 50, 150 versus 80 percent and 53, and the ledge trump to bear. Extra O, gotta be better at reacting to that. He was, was he scared at that moment? Not at all. Mojo just like, I mean, I think Mojo and Blackboard adapted brilliantly. They took the lead from the beginning. Yeah. They picked up the momentum so that they like, they know that their worst state is if both of them are off stage at the same time. That's where they took like 80% of the first 10 seconds. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. That was the first time I noticed that transition for the house in 3000, the little mm -hmm. pop-up. It's smooth. smooth. It's smooth, isn't it? It's smooth. I, I didn't even know. Yeah. It's the little things. 